So I thought I would take the opportunity, since I have a captive audience, to teach you a little bit about finance. So I have here the Warren Buffett way. <laughs> Warren Buffett is one of the richest investors in the world. He's a legend. He's one of the richest investors in the world, okay? He more than all of us put together. Thank you, Perry. <laughs> Please don't hold back your opinion, Perry. <laughs> I'm incapable of it. <laughs> okay. But the thing is, hold on, hold on. This is our show, thanks. I'm on the flyer, not you, okay? Saying, and I have rapist glasses, so I, <laughs> so I am going to read from chapter six of the Warren Buffett Way: Investing Guidelines, Management Tenets. Okay. Oh, and by the way, um, because I am not very good at finances myself, I haven't eaten all day, so I have to eat dinner while I'm doing this. All right. So, oh god, no. Hope you don't mind. I'm just going to crack in a bag of soup. Uh, oh, I read. Well, I'm poor, okay? So pay more money at the door and we'll see. When considering a new investment or a business acquisition, Buffy looked very hard quality management. He told us the company was stock for stock we never succeeded making a good deal with a bad person. Yeah, it's true, right? Oh, well, I have to have some vegetables too, because Nietzsche's right. Um, since it's right, that's it. Oh! When he finds managers he admires, Buffett is generous with his, with his praise. Year after year, readers of the chairman's letter of the Berkshire Annual Reports find Buffett's warm words about those who manage various Berkshire companies. We oh, no. oh. zero when it comes to the management of companies who stock is under consideration. Yeah. 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 I want to savor this. Uh, it's kind of sweet, actually. It's kind of sweet. Uh. Oh! Number one, is management rational? Number two, is management candid with the shareholders? Number three, does management resist the institutional imperative? Good question, right? <laughs> the highest compliment, public compared manager, but... <laughs> no sex for you tonight. <laughs> Discussion. Let's just go around and everyone take 10 minutes to tell us about your day and your feelings. Let's go right now. How was your day? I was kind of thinking you were going to get sex because usually when you fuck up and don't shower, you get sex. So if you eat onion, girls are probably going to be <laughs> Fuck you too. All right. You're going to meet her tonight, trust me. Guys, this is important information I'm trying to convey here, all right? Go, let's skip ahead. Now we have a case study. <laughs> This is a case study of Shaw Industries from 2000 to 2002. In late 2000, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway Group agreed to acquire 87% of Shaw, Shaw Industries, the world's largest carpet manufacturer, really, for 19 a share, which is a little low, or approximately $2 billion. <laughs> Look, I'm poor. 
this isn't funny, okay? If you feel bad, buy me a donor kebab later. Or bring my mother, whatever. In 1992, Robinson abruptly resigned was split by Harvey Gold. He sums up the media task of strengthening brand awareness. Strengthening a familiar tone with puppet. I began using terms that provide a brand value with pride to American Express card. Over the next two years. <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> you and American Express are showing signs of a hope. Oh, you're getting it tonight. Trust me, you're good. <laughs> we're all possible to solve. Guys, listen, this is important information, right? <laughs> and I will stand here and listen to you ignore the only way we're going to save this fucking economy. Oh, <laughs> eat the chili. We're helping our finances. Take it all off. Take it off. That type of thing is right. He believes the management's supposed to work out. It's clear I can't teach anymore about finance tonight because you guys aren't listening. But you're ignorant fuckers, all right? So we might as well bring the next act on. You can just laugh again as the economy goes into the toilet.